It is cloudy and still cold out there. That temperature sits at 14, so we've gained six degrees since we last looked, even though it still feels like a big old goose egg out there. Winds out of the southwest 11 miles per hour are making it feel like that. <clears throat> so still some cool spots to the northeast, though two below for Decorah, 14 in the metro 20s. Off to the west, they are five degrees away from freezing. And uh, winds from yesterday have died down quite a bit. Uh, looking across the state, single digits to low teens. So it's not, doesn't have quite the bite that it did yesterday, but still cold by, by all accounts. Look to the southeast, we've got that snow that's been forming and likely still have chances, I'd say metro, uh, for a little bit more snow into the day today and then again tomorrow. So we're kind of caught up in that northwestern flow with some time, which sometimes spits out some bits of energy and can kick up a little bit of that light snow. Uh, but still don't expect a lot as far as snow is concerned. But don't be surprised if you see some flakes flying. Look at the cold to the north though. Five for a high in Minneapolis, three for Green Bay, Chicago coming in at five, 40s to the southwest of us. So huge Arctic air mass and we are just on the edge of it. Uh, but we're going to continue to chill out tonight. Feels like temperatures below zero, likely for your evening commute. And into the evening hours, we can see double digits below zero past 1 a.m. with air temperatures below zero past 1 a.m. as well. So let's track out the snow here. Futurecast has that to the southeast, clears us out through the overnight, brings in that next shot of snow into the morning hours. Again, really light stuff. We are not talking much for accumulation from that. But we look ahead towards Sunday, and that's when our next major system looks to impact the state. So right now, that northwestern edge of the or northeastern edge of the state is really where the bulk of that snow is going to fall that into the north. And for central and southern portions of the state, plan on a good old fashioned wintry mix. Not that we won't see any accumulating snow, but likely not nearly as much as those portions of the state that are off to the north and to the northeast. So this goes through Saturday, and this is when we're talking largely under an inch across the state, but we look ahead towards uh, Monday and that bullseye right now is setting up on the northeastern edge of the state with heavy amounts as far west as Fort Dodge and up through Algona too. So likely going to see an inch or two in the metro, uh, but how this system tracks is really going to again dictate uh, who is going to see the heaviest snow. If this goes a little further to the south, likely going to see more snow in the metro. If it tracks off to the north, likely going to see more of a mix and not as much snow in the metro, but still uh, Monday morning could be a little uh, hectic travel wise for a lot of us. So 18 is the high on the day and tonight we're dropping below zero again by a degree. One is the overnight low and we take a look at that eight day forecast. We're going to be bouncing around for a bit here. Low to mid 20s Saturday and Sunday. And after that, you can see what happens to the temperature. We bottom out single digits above, above, above and below zero with teens below for overnight lows.